Hello everyone, welcome to this new virtual demo about Joltest. This is going to be a very short demo, around 7 or 9 minutes. The main idea is to provide and a general overview about some function about Joltest. This is our off-highway division. We have a different equipment available here, but for this demo, we are going to use the heavy equipment. We have a different model here, and if we go inside, we can find 62 different makes. We have a really good coverage, as you can see. And for this demo, we are going to use Caterpillar because it's one of the most important make for this kind of equipment. So if we go inside, we have all the family, all the models, and we have the auto detection option here. So this is very important. We can go there. And Jaltis is guiding us with this information about the connection, how it looks like the connector, pinout information, and the correct part number for this connection. So this will take no time for you. Now we can do the scan. And at this time, Jaltes is detecting all the system inside this equipment. Remember that Jaltes is a diagnostic dealer level tool for all Megan systems. And we have four general functions, diagnostic dealer level, technical information, technical support, and data management. We have five systems detected. We have the engine, transmission, hydraulic system, instrument cluster, and telematic model. We can go to the engine and we can find the main menu here with different options. We can go to diagnosis. We can have here the state of the code, the proprietary focal and the descriptions. And also we have additional information. We have the freeze frame data. We have help and component of the error. This is very important section because we have technical information related to the focal. So now, we can go and we can have the component, the location, and additional information for this component. And also we have the wire diagrams. This is very good information because the technician can know how exactly is connected the component on my right with the ECU in the middle. So if you do double click here, we can have the information about the ECU, the location, and the pinout information. So this is very, very good because now the technician can know if the component, the reason for this focal, or maybe the wire between the component and the ECU. If we go to the next option, we have the error clearance, we have the system data, we have the measurements here. We have two options. If we go to system display, we can find this graphic that is very important because with this graphic for some technician that doesn't have too much experience in this kind of system so they can have a better understanding about what is happening what is going on and going into every component and for Yaltes it's very important to use it experience and with this kind of information we are we strongly believe that we can improve that user experience also we have the insurance mixation we have 216 measurements. So we have the groups here. We can select the groups. We can select the measurements. And we have a different representation. We have the gauges and also we have the graphics. And with the graphic, we have a different function. We can see less measurements. Or we can zoom in or zoom out. And we can pass. And also we can take a screenshot. That is very important. We can print and also we can include in the diagnostic report. And I can show you the diagnostic report later. If we go to the next one, we can find the system check. We have a different test here. And no matter what test you do, you want to do, you can go and you will find the same layout, the same process. First, step one initial information, step two, initial condition, and step three, the, man, the process or the test. So now I'm doing the, the test. We have a, another representation here. We can turn on and turn off and we can finish the test. And at the end, I can check the results. And this result is going to be in the diagnostic report. So if we go to the parameters, we can find 
the injector display parameters, injector exchange, injector coding, and if we go to maintenance, we can find information related to all this option here. And also we have the data recorder. This is a very good option because you can record the data while you are doing a road test and then you can analyze. So this is very, very good information. And also we have a system technical data here. This is a technical information. So you can come here, no matter if you don't have any active focal, you can also come here to consulting. And also you can go to the wire diagrams I already showed you before without any active focal. And also we have the vehicle data. In here you will find different information about repair actions. So for example, if you want information about the tanning torques, so you come here and if you want to do something for the cylinder head, so we are being able to provide you the information to the correct order and if you need to apply force or angle. So this is very good because if you don't have this information, you are not being able to do this kind of action. And what happened if we want to go to other system? It's simple. You can go to the other system and make the connection and you will find different um, options. For example, diagnosis. We have the same layout. So the learning curve is very short with us. With us. Error clearance, system data, measurements. We have also system display here. And measurement selection well, is the same, the same layout. And also we have calibration and data recorder. We have the system technical data and the diagram. So this is, this is the same for every system. So the next one is the our diagnostic report. We can go there and we can find here all the tests and all the results and action that we did before. We can print this or we can save. So if we want maybe um, some extra explanation for some tests, so we can do also the remote assistance. So we are being able to do remote assistance. And also we have the contact, the contact, contact details. We, have, we are reachable by phone, by number, by email. And the last one, but the least, is our data management, the GRP. This is a very important option here, is for free. So you will have a different option available. So we have here the client list, for example, the vehicle list. We have, as you can see here, the client list. We can make a profile for the client. We can make a vehicle list. Also, we have the report, all the diagnostic report that we did, the workshop management, we can assign tasks, we have a, a reception role, we have the human resource, and here you can you can create different users and you can create different users with different level of access depending on the role. So this is very, very good option and it's for free. If you want more information, you can go to our distributors or we, you can go to the web page or the fan page. And also in YouTube, we have a, role, a lot of video with more information, so you can go there. We are waiting for you and this is all for today. Thank you.